every Requiem player is a fashionista, and you cannot convince me otherwise. Why else would we spend the crazy amounts of money that we do on this game? And all the Requiem fashionistas probably imploded when they saw the newest Rec Center pop-up shop. Buggy boots! Just look at these things. They're adorable. Yeah, Requiem has officially released the first ever full-body cosmetic in the store. So, to celebrate this step into Requiem's future, I'm gonna become your full-body avatar stylist and tell you the top five best and worst shirts to use with full bodies. Also, I understand that these are in beta and will be updated with better stuff slowly. These are just my rankings as of now. I doubt this one needs much explaining. Just, just look at this mess. The sleeves are an entirely different orange and aren't even textured. It also comes across as very soccer mom and not in the good way. I do wonder how many people actually wear this though. Not much more to say about this one. It just sucks. This one is a similar situation to the orange vest, but it hurts more. Bog monster stuff are some of my favorite items in the entire game. And they butchered this poor guy. The sleeves are a totally different green, and it just looks really boxy. It's also titled the Bog Monster Suit, and not the Bog Monster Shirt. So it's a total missed opportunity to not have bog monster pants too. Just looking at this one kind of upsets me. For being honest, I'd just stick with bean for this item. I'm sorry, but we're all thinking it. What is that green? Although I think the shoulder thing is pretty cool, this item just does not translate to full body well. It makes the shoulder thing smaller and the green shirt bigger, which just doesn't look right. For most of these items, they can be fixed later on as Rec Room adds more and more textured sleeves and stuff. But I'm just not quite sure what they could do with this. Have you ever wanted to be like one of those miniature army men toys? You know, like the ones from Toy Story? Well, now you can. All you have to do is equip this in full body. This one is really interesting because I believe it's a bug, but it doesn't change the fact that it doesn't look great. This shirt is traditionally a light green version of the tan safari shirt, but when enabling full body while wearing it, the coat, the buttons, the pockets, and everything turns it to the same color the dark green sleeves are. I guess if you like the effect, better try it now before Requiem patches it. And by far, the worst full body item has to be this. Of course, let's address the elephant in the room. The sleeves are white! Who made this decision? The coat is a beautiful dark blue that I would have loved to see translated into the sleeves. Plus, it's a trench coat, which traditionally aren't known for their color changing sleeves. Again, I understand a lot of the sleeves are placeholders, but they have a blue, they've used it for other items that could have worked a lot better for the time being. Just looking at this one upsets me, really. But that's enough negativity for now. Let's check out some of the best items that look phenomenal in full body avatars. Uh, I just love this item. It's a very flattering shirt, but the best part is it translates to full body super well. It does now have corrected sleeves, but even when it had the white placeholders, it was just as good. It's a simple one for sure, but it's just such a good item. Not much else to say here, this is a fantastic full body shirt option. Guys, I have literally never looked comfier in Rec Room. Look at the turtlenecks! They all have perfectly textured sleeves and just look so damn comfortable. And better yet, with full body, we have necks. Which means the neck part that used to just float actually looks natural. Dare I say it, I think the turtlenecks might be the most realistic cosmetic Rec Room has ever released. This is honestly an item I think is better in full body. I know a lot of people did not like this item when it came out because of the tuck shirt. I agreed with them. I think in Bean, it makes it look like you got hiked up pants. The tucked shirt and high-waisted jeans are just no. But in full body, on the other hand, it looks great. Now that we actually have legs and full pants that we can tuck the shirt into, it looks fine. More than fine, it looks great even. Plus, I've always liked the design on this shirt, I just hated the jeans. But with full body, I can use this and enjoy it. I doubt this one even needs much of an explanation. Just look at how thick the sleeves are! It gives off a big bloated sleeve vibe, making it feel like you're just wearing a super big comfy hoodie. Although I likely wouldn't wear this item, I can't deny how amazing it looks in full body. Yet another item that is better in full body avatars. You all definitely saw this coming, but can you blame me? This thing is phenomenal. Just like real life, since it's a jumpsuit, it takes the spot of a shirt and pants. Because of the timing of full body and the release of the Trials of TMNT, I'm pretty sure this item was designed for full body avatars before Bean, but I'm not exactly sure. Thank you Rekun for putting so much hard work into this one and blessing us with this truly amazing item. And that's my list. As I said, I understand a lot of the full body items will change and get better, but as of now, these are my rankings. Let me know which ones you agree with and which you don't. Or do you think I missed a really great or really item? Let me know in the comments. If you like this, 
please consider subscribing. We're on the grind to 5k and your help would be super appreciated. Alright, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.